SPLS forwarding table. So the forwarding table is like a routing table best path. So here I will just take it only one network that is 5.5.5. So in R1 router I will just ping 5.5.5. So show MPLS forwarding 5.5.5 and submit mask means it will be showing. So locally 5.5.5 I will assign the label as 1003 and outgoing label outgoing label means the remote router remote router that indicates r2 router will assign the label as 2003 and this is the net id and outgoing interface so if i am going to r2 router means the outgoing interface gigabyte 1 slash 0 and next to hope so how to reach the next next neighboring router that is 2003 r2 router means through 10.10.10.2 i will reach R2 router same like I can give it in R2 router show MPLS LDP sorry show MPLS forwarding 5.5.5 space 32 enter here we can see in R2 router the local label is in 2003 and outgoing label that is R3 router will assign the 5.5 network as a 3003 and this is the outgoing interface outgoing interface means through this interface and next up should be in this interface IP <coughs> let's we can check it in R3 router show MPLS forwarding table 3 dot sorry 5 dot 5 dot 5 dot 5 space 32 enter here in R3 router the local label should be in 3003 and outgoing label is 4003 and outgoing interface is gigabyte 3 slash 0 that is through this interface and next stop should be at this router next we can go to R4 router and here we can check it show MPLS forwarding table 5 dot 5 dot sorry 5 dot 5 dot 5 and 32 enter here we can see in R4 router the locally assigned 5.5.5 .5 .5 .5 network as in 4003 and outgoing label here we can see outgoing label should be in pop-up label so outgoing label pop-up label means this router should be in PHP router the PHP router indicates penultimate hop popping that means that outgoing label that is the R5 router that 5.5.5 .5 network is directly connected so that's why only here the outgoing label indicates pop-up label so the pop-up label indicates penultimate hop popping that means so R1 to R2 R2 to R3 R3 to R4 it will be working like MPLS based it will be forwarding that packet once reach the R4 router, it will remove the MPLS and it will send the packet through IP version 4 because that R5 router one is directly connected net, directly connected to 5.5.5.5 network. That's why only here the outgoing label it will be showing pop label. That means R4 router is a penultimate of popping. Okay, now again R1 router in, in R1 router I can ping to R5 router that time how we how can it be, how the packet will be transferring means just it will check the MPLS forwarding table so the local label is 1003 just I can remove the 1003 label and I will put it into 2003 in that packet and I will send that packet to gigabyte 100 interface and send it to next stop 10.10.2 that is R2 router then R2 router once reach that packet it will check its MPLS forwarding table so 2003 is my local label ok I will remove that label then I will inject the label as 3003 that is outgoing label 3003 so outgoing interface is gigabyte 2 slash 0 and the next stop should be in this interface 20.20.20.2 as yes, we can check it 20.20.2 then the packet will be sent from R2 to R3 again it will be decapsulate layer 2 then it will check it in MPLS that is MPLS forwarding table so MPLS forwarding table 3003 is my local label remove that label then I will inject 4003 then outgoing interface is gigabyte 3 slash 0 the next stop should be in 30.30.30.2 
so 30.30.30.2 then I will send that packet to R4 router then R4 router once receive that packet it will check its MPLS forwarding table so 4003 is my local label then I will remove that label then I will send that packet as an IP version 4 because pop-up label outgoing label is pop-up label means that R5 router the neighboring router R5 router is directly connected to this network so this R4 router will act as a PHP router that is penultimate hop popping remove the MPLS and it will send that packet based on IP version 4 ok so IP version 4 based it will send that packet <coughs> now I will close this all this capture then I will ping from R1 router to R5 router loopback interface then I will capture that packet and I will show it to you Okay, again I will capture. 